For most of us, the days are getting colder and shorter, but there's still plenty to be done in the garden. Here is your gardening checklist for November. As the last of the leaves fall this month, put them to work for you in your garden. Fallen leaves make a great insulator. Tuck them in around perennials and fill raised beds with them. They will break down over the winter, adding both insulation and nutrition to your soil. Those fallen leaves are also a great place for beneficial insects to overwinter, so don't be tempted to chop them up. In colder parts of the country, it's time to empty your ceramic pots if you keep them outside. The freeze-thaw cycles of winter make them susceptible to cracking, so empty out any spent potting mix, give your pots a good rinse, and then store them upside down in a sheltered place like a garage, a shed, or like I do, under the eaves. In zones two through eight, this is a great time for fall planted seeds. Native plants in these zones often need cold stratification and allowing mother nature to do the work is a great solution. Simply follow the planting instructions on the seed packet for fall planting and you'll see beautiful plants emerge in the spring. If you already have snow on the ground, you can even just sprinkle the seeds on top of the snow. Until your ground freezes, you still have time to put in spring blooming bulbs. The general rule of thumb is to plant them pointy end up about twice as deep as the bulb is tall. If you are in a warmer climate without cold winters, now is the time to place your orders for pre-chilled bulbs, which will be delivered in the new year at the right time for your zone. If you have outdoor citrus trees, be sure to watch the weather through the winter for freeze warnings. They may be rare in your part of the country, but freezes can kill off a harvest or damage the tree if it's severe enough. Having a string of incandescent holiday lights and some frost cloth on hand is good preparation in case of a freeze. String the lights through the tree's branches, plug them in, then wrap the tree in frost cloth. The heat from the lights will create a little bubble of warmth, which can be just enough to protect from a freeze. No matter where you live, November is a great time to put down a good two or three inches of compost or well-finished manure in your raised beds. This adds more insulation for your perennials and over winter, any salts in the compost or manure will leach out with the additional moisture. In the spring, your tender plants will appreciate the additional nutrients too. And that's your gardening checklist for November. Happy gardening.